What's going on everyone? I'm Encore, this is Tomorrow Never Comes. And this video is an extension of my previous video of yesterday, of just trying to explain or transition from someone who does not know, and this may be you, someone who does not know how to get into the crypto markets. Where do you start, what do you do? And yesterday's video covered just finding two exchanges, two centralized exchanges, buying Bitcoin and a little bit of ETH and trying to transfer and getting used to transferring between one to the other. That's it, right? Very, very simple. And I actually want to just add to that now. So what do you do now? Okay, so now you're kind of familiar with, well, I know how to buy an asset on an exchange and I know how to send it to another wallet address. You're kind of familiar with that or still trying to get familiar with that. What's the next step? And, and funny enough, as I was doing this, Today I ran across this tweet that really kind of simplifies things even further. Just kind of outlines how you would be from a level one person to a level five. Now, this particular individual is talking about Bitcoin alone, uh, but I will even extend that out to all crypto, right? Depending on what you want to do with it. And so level one here is where I started yesterday, where you're just buying, in this case, Bitcoin on an exchange. All right. And level two, which is what today's video is about, is putting that on a hot wallet. All right. And then level three is putting on a cold wallet. And then level four is node running. Level five is mining. I, I'm not, I have no interest in being a level, level, level four, level five Bitcoiner or crypto individual at all. Zero. Okay. So, so my level as of now stops at level three. Okay. So level one, Bitcoin on an exchange. Level two is Bitcoin on a uh, hot uh, a hot wallet level three is bitcoin on a cold wallet and that's it for me all right and then once you get used to that uh, you pretty much know how to use a cold wallet use a whole wa uh, hot wallet you know deal with centralized exchanges now there there is decentralized exchanges but that'll be something different but really within these three levels you you've kind of captured about 95 percent of all that you need to know all right and and if we're talking about bitcoin you want to kind of leave it on your cold storage that's the end all be all you're good to go if you are a long-term holder all right so so let's jump into that what are the hot wallets or what is the main hot wallet so if we're talking about eth all right we, number one is metamask by by far and away the number one hot wallet that's ever used okay i'm not going to go into exactly how you set it up i've done that in previous videos before maybe i'll link that in the description uh, but what MetaMask does is it allows you to hold ERC20 tokens. And funny enough, this is a good learning moment for me. What does ERC even stand for? Right? So ERC stands for Ethereum Request for Comment. Didn't know that. Interesting fact. Does it change my life by knowing it? Not at all. All right. Just understand that there is a certain type of token uh, that is standard for uh, the Ethereum contracts and for MetaMask. You can add different protocols. You add them manually. So whether it be Avalanche, Binance, Smart Chain, all these different things, uh, Harmony as well. There's You can just add a bunch of them manually. But out of the box, so to speak, once you sign up for, you'll have uh, two or three of them that are set up. And Ethereum is your main net. That's the one where you're going to transact almost everything. And I'm actually going to show you. Let's, let's, sh let's show you what that looks like. So first, let's just go through what MetaMask is. It's just a wallet that's going to be... You know, allow you to hold your assets and then transfer in and out wherever you need to go. What MetaMask does is it actually links to certain sites and then the site itself or the protocol itself can interact directly with MetaMask. All right. So and maybe we'll go through a little uh, we'll go through a little example here. OK, so here it is. Just a crypto wallet and gateway to blockchain apps. That's it. So these blockchains will have apps and that's how you will interact with them by connecting your metamask and so you can buy store send and swap tokens all that kind of stuff all right and so if i were to open my metamask all right now once you're initializing it you're gonna have to go through some steps and get some private keys but once you're in this is what it looks like you get your wallet address over here here's my ethereum mainnet i told you there there are certain things that come with it uh, but Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche was, were definitely two that I had to manually add. Don't even worry about that right now. Okay. Just as soon as you're in, just make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet and you're good to go. So it'll show you what assets you guys can see here that you can add a bunch of different assets within this one wallet. Okay. Or this one account in this wallet. You can make multiple accounts 
and we'll go over that at a later time of why that's important to do that. But for now, you just open one account and you can then transfer your ETH from the exchange over to here. And how do you do that? Well, you know, you just need an address, right? And so the address will be found right here. If this is you're doing desktop, it'll be right here. You just copy the clipboard. You just enter that in into your, um, your receive address and you're good to go to transfer. That's it. All right. So, so that, that will be that. Well, maybe we, maybe we'll go over an example. Let's see if we can, uh, I just want to connect. So you guys kind of see what that, what the connection actually looks like. So here's Uniswap. This is a decentralized exchange. Again, don't worry about that, but you can see here on the top, right? It says launch an app. So this is a DAP. All right. And I'm not going to go over what this actually means, but when you connect your MetaMask, well, mine's already connected. So you'll see in the top right, this is the actual address. If I can show you here, ends in this 8D3A, 8D3A. So it's already been connected. Uh, yeah, it's already been connected. So right now, so now this app or DAP knows exactly what's in my wallet, how much I can use to transfer things, and, and can I shift these coins over, all right? So there's a lot of little nuances that happens with this, and you've got to play around. So when adding a new token, not for Bitcoin, not for ETH. A lot of times you have to give permission for it to be added to your wallet. So if you ever see that prompted, that's fine. But when, but right now we're dealing with ETH alone, you're good. And, and you can add Bitcoin. I want to be very, be very clear about this. Is This MetaMask is not for Bitcoin. It's not the hot wallet for that. Okay. It's only for ETH. Between the two, Bitcoin and ETH, this is only for ETH. If you try and send Bitcoin there, you're going to lose it. It's going to be gone. You're never going to get it back. All right. So that is ETH. And then, well, okay, we were talking about Bitcoin. So where would you send it? Now, I told, I showed you the level three from that tweet. Level one was being on exchange. Level two was a hot wallet. Level three was a cold storage. So look, traditionally, for those who are purists, they wouldn't even go to a hot wallet. They go straight from the exchange and right into their cold wallet. Okay. But I have used this one before. I don't use it anymore. Uh, mainly because now I'm at that level three where I'm at um, in, entirely in cold storage. Okay, so uh, you can even say this. So Bitcoin.com is like an independent uh, hot wallet. Again, you just set up your account. They'll give you an address. It's all things are very repetitive, right? You just need an address. You just make sure you're sending Bitcoin to Bitcoin address and, and you're good to go. But you can use the exchanges as a wallet. So So Coinbase will have their own separate wallet where you have your own keys uh, crypto.com will also have their own wallet. I haven't used it, but I am pretty sure that you're able to have your own private keys. So there's no account, uh, like a password login. It's, it's kind of like, um, it, meaning you still own your keys. They don't hold your assets for you. Okay. So that's something important to understand. And so Bitcoin.com is one, these exchanges will have their own and you can even just like, like for all intents and purposes, the ex holding it on the exchange is like a hot wallet right that's essentially what it's doing it's holding it there but uh you you're you're still exposed to everything else that happens on that exchange and so if the exchange itself is hacked there's always a possibility something happens to you and also if they shut things down or whatever happens in you know you get suspended it's there on that exchange okay so i wanted to show you guys those two things so remember metamask is the number one wallet for eth and you can move eth in and out at will all right, don't try and put any Bitcoin onto your MetaMask. It's not going to work. All right, Bitcoin, hot wallet. You want to put it on things like Bitcoin.com or you can put it on exchanges such as Coinbase uh, wallets and Crypto.com wallet. And some of these other exchanges will have a dedicated wallet. OK, that's what they'll call it. And if you and I don't recommend this, don't just leave it on the centralized exchange. Don't do that. Okay, so remember, we're leveling up now. So level one, we were on the exchange. Level two, now we're here to move into and out of wallets. Okay, so get used to that now. Again, all it is is you just have to have the right address put in the right spot. That's it. So the sender and the receiver, we just have to be in alignment there. Make sure you double check and make sure, like I pointed out in the last video, you always send just a portion of your total that you want to send just as a test. Once it's in there, you're good to go. All right. So hope that provided some value for you guys. Hope it made it a little bit more simple. Again, it's always about taking action and playing around with these platforms. It's not intuitive in the beginning, 
but as you learn then it becomes intuitive and it's just second nature it's like with anything else okay so don't be afraid of it don't feel um, you know intimidated by it it's just a learning process do a couple of transactions you're good to go all right so guys i just wanted to say you know tomorrow never comes take action invest in yourself today and i will see you guys in the next video